Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the El Presidente. That was a little redundant, the El Presidente. Today, we're making El Presidente, that's better, which is a rum sipping cocktail that comes from Cuba. And you don't see a whole lot of rum sipping cocktails that come from Cuba. It's got rum, vermouth, grenadine, curacao. It's considered Cuba's answer to the Manhattan. So you know it's gotta be good. And it is. It's really good. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's make El Presidente to the bar. To tell the story of El Presidente, we need to discuss two different Cuban presidents. This cocktail was created in the early 1900s in honor of President, Cuban president, Mario Garcia Menacal. And apparently he was a big drinker, so he wanted a drink named after him. Well, actually, I don't know if he wanted the drink named after him, but he got one, and it was a good one. It was the Cuban rendition of a Manhattan. So it had rum, vermouth, and a little bit of grenadine. Then that drink took off. People loved it. It was a hit. Even more so when the American Prohibition hit because American tourists went down to Cuba to have actual drinks. Then in 1925, a new president came to town and it was Gerardo Machado. And he wanted that cocktail to be named after him because he was now the president and this was the drink everybody was drinking. So one bartender in Havana added a splash of curacao and said, this one's for you, Mr. President. And the president said, I'm happy and I will spare your life. Because you are wondering, I know you were, the name of that bartender was Eddie Wolke at the Jockey Club in Havana. Just added a splash of curacao and altered history. So good job, Eddie. For the tools, this is gonna be stirred. So I've got my mixing glass, bar spoon, my jigger, julep strainer, I've got a knife and a peeler. I'm gonna do a little zest of orange on top. And then I've got some cherries as well because I'm gonna garnish with a cocktail cherry. You don't have to do the cherry, but it is good with the cherry. Also at this time, get your glass chilled. I'm gonna serve it in a martini glass, but it's beautiful in a coupe. You're the one drinking it. Put it in a coffee mug. Now the booze. We are gonna need white rum, white vermouth, orange curacao, and grenadine. The rum I'm using is Probitas, the vermouth is Dolan Blanc, and the orange curacao is Pierre Ferran dry curacao. This was created in Cuba. So it's meant to be a Spanish style light white rum. Originally, it would have been served with Bacardi, which was a Cuban company at the time. Now Bacardi's out of Puerto Rico, but if you wanna use that, that's gonna be great. It's gonna be light and easy. If you wanted to keep it Cuban, use something like Havana Club which I can't get here in Chicago, but I'm kind of bucking the system. Probitas is a blend of Jamaican rum and rum from Barbados. So they're two English style rums and they have bigger flavor, a little bit of funk, a little earthy, but I like tasting the rum in this cocktail. And this is just a great white rum. As far as the vermouth, this is an interesting story because for the longest time, everybody was making it with dry vermouth. But in 2012, David Wondrich discovered that a Blanc vermouth, which is a bit more of a semi-sweet, not quite as dry, would be truer to the original vermouth that they were using in Havana. And it's very, very good with this vermouth. Now I've made a number of them with dry vermouth and you can use dry vermouth. In fact, if you do so, I would recommend using an older, kind of richer rum, something that has a little bit more sweetness, just natural sweetness. Curacao, dry curacao, you can use any orange liqueur. We're just adding a little bit. And the grenadine, make that a good grenadine. A nice homemade grenadine, if you need an easy recipe, I've got one for you, but whatever your favorite store bought is, that'll work. Let's build. We'll start with the rum. Do one and a half ounces of white rum. As far as the vermouth, we'll go half of that. So three quarters of an ounce. A lot of recipes will call for the same equal parts rum to vermouth, and that's very good too, but I just want a more rum sipping cocktail built in the style of a Manhattan. Quarter of an ounce of your orange liqueur. and then just one bar spoon of the grenadine. Now we add ice and stir. And about 30 seconds, just stir away. Do you ever have one of those those moments where you think you're forgetting something. I'm feeling that right now. This should be everything. If this isn't everything, 
I'll have already edited all this out. This is everything. That's looking pretty good. Very subtle pink to it. All right, grab your chilled glass. And then we can just filter off the cocktail into the cocktail glass. Grab a swath of orange zest. I'm gonna do it right over the glass so I get all the oils on it. Straighten out the edges. Gonna make this look beautiful for you. Express the oils. Get the sides. And then I'm gonna do my, my standard little, little fold. Run a skewer right through that. It's a very simple thing, but I think it looks nice. Grab a cherry. There we go. Right on the side. My mouth is watering. I'm excited about this one. This is a great drink. El Presidente. Cheers. Oh, oh man, if, if you are a rum fan, try it with this one right here. That is outstanding. Oz? You wanna try? <laughs> well, I actually really like this one. I think it's a beautiful cocktail. Beautiful to look at as well. It's like an inverted Manhattan. With a Manhattan, you have this sweet vermouth that's really rich, and then the base spirit of whiskey will dry that out. So it balances out really nicely, and that's what makes a Manhattan so great. Now, this is kind of the opposite. You've got a drier vermouth, and then you get the natural sweetness from the rum, balances it out. It's really interesting. You don't have the bitters that a Manhattan does, but the Manhattan doesn't have a little splash of grenadine or orange curacao, so. So if you have a favorite El Presidente recipe, please let me know in the comments down below. I've had this a number of ways, and honestly, I enjoy all of them. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified the next time a video comes out. And do yourself a favor, make one of these things. You're gonna be happy. I'll see you next week. Cheers.